Welcome back everybody. Today we have a clash of two Surefire lights. Now for those of you that typically watch this channel and aren't new here, um, you guys are probably surprised by the profile of these lights because I review a lot of Surefire lights. However, they tend to either be A, weapon lights, or B, an EDC light with a tactical quote-unquote application um, because this channel is generally focused on um, self-defense and things like that. However, we do delve into flashlights that are not personal defense type of options as well. So uh, one of these is gonna fit each of those categories. So we have the stiletto here, which is really new. I think this one's only been out probably two or three months at the time of this video. And then we have the Guardian uh, dual reflector mode here. Uh, there have been previous generations of the Guardian. This is the newest and latest one as well. And uh, what we're gonna do is let you guys get a beam comparison with both of them, kind of see how they stack up in terms of that. And then we'll get into the specific details of each light because they are a little quirky in that regard. And uh, hopefully at the end, we'll let you know what we think of them overall. We're always getting new folks into the channel. So for those that don't know, that spot right there where the wood fence meets the iron fence is approximately 35 feet away. Those trees back there are about 40 to 50, depending on the actual tree we're talking about. And the light that you see right now is from the uh, Surefire EDC L2T light. So it's a well-known high output, I believe 1200 lumen light. And you guys can see it's got a nice beam pattern here, nice balance to it. I just wanna use that as a baseline because it's something that a lot of people know and have seen this one before. So uh, first up, we'll take a look here at the Guardian. This is with, of course, the standard beam and it looks very similar in terms of output. It does have a little bit of a ring on the edge there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it right there, um, but good output, good hotspot. And uh, when you click down through the modes, if I can actually do it right, you can see it goes down and dims a little bit. And then I'll do it again in the low mode. It's still giving you a similar type of uh, beam pattern, of course, just at a different output. Now, the other one on the left side, when you activate it, is the max vision beam that you guys see here. So a totally different beam pattern. This one is designed to put out a wall of light, uh, both from the edge, uh, right edge rather, to the left edge, as you guys can see. It's pretty consistent throughout in terms of intensity, and the hotspot is only a little bit brighter there in the middle. So again, totally different profile in that regard. Uh, same thing though, where in terms of stepping down, so we'll turn it on high, and you go medium and low and off. Again, the beam pattern back to back. This is the standard, uh, what we'd consider a little bit more throwy uh, beam, and then switching over there to max vision. Once again, you're looking at the output of the Surefire EDC L2T, just as a baseline. Now we're gonna go here to the stiletto. Again, this has a max vision type of beam as well. It's a little bit less um, wide at this distance. Uh, it looks, at least to my eye, we'll compare it back to back here in just a second. And again, you're going to get very little in terms of hotspot, but you're just going to get a total wall of light. Uh, very good for illuminating anything close up there. As you can see, I'm actually activating it by the rear button, which we'll get into here in just a second. However, if I wanted to activate it through the side button, it's going to give you the same output when you first turn it on. And then if you want to click through the modes, you're just going to quickly hit it, medium, there we go, there's our low mode, I'm not even sure. I guess the camera probably is picking that up, but comes on in high as it comes from the factory, of course, and then just, if you wanna go down, you gotta quickly click. If not, if you wait a couple seconds, like right now, uh, click it, it's gonna go off. So that is how it works. The light that you're looking at now is from the Guardian. This was with the Max Vision Beam. Um, again, now compared to that with the Stiletto that we see here. You guys can see it's probably a little bit less intense coming across there on the camera. That's uh, due to the difference in terms of overall lumens that you guys see. Again, this is the stiletto. And then here we have the Guardian. To my eyes, it is a little bit brighter. I'm not sure if I can even do a side to side because they're both so wide. Over here we have the stiletto. And then again, over here, the Guardian. Again, here we have the output from the stiletto and I wanna compare it to the non-max vision output there on the Guardian, which is what we have here. So uh, you guys can see very intense hot spot, very focused there on the side of the fence. And over here on the left is the stiletto. Over here on the right is the Guardian. You can see just the difference in intensity of the two options. As I'm recording this video, we're about three days out from a full moon. So we do have pretty good illumination here uh, tonight. So it's not gonna make the uh, results look as dramatic as it would be if we had almost no moon. So uh, again, the camera is set as close as it can be to what I see here with my human eye. We're gonna throw the guardian out there at those trees. Those trees are 130 feet away from where the camera is right now. And you guys can see there that hot spot definitely illuminates those trees. You can see it really darn well. And then probably in your uh, camera view there, 
on the lower right side of your screen, you can probably see that rosemary bush there. It's kind of dead looking, <laughs> uh, being illuminated. That one's about 10 feet in front of the camera. Uh, so again, that's with the non-Max Vision Beam out of the Guardian. This is the Max Vision Beam out of the Guardian. You definitely get a little bit of light over there on those trees, for sure, as I move it in and out. You guys can probably detect that with the camera, but it's nothing like the intensity of where the hotspot is here with the non-Max Vision Beam. And over here, this is what you see with the stiletto. Um, once again, everything really close, like the edge of the lake there and the, the bush, very, very bright. And you definitely get some illumination out there on the trees, for sure. It is brighter with it on there than it is without. I'm not sure if the camera really picks it up, but it's noticeable to the human eye. You definitely get illumination out there. Again, it's just not quite the same as what you'd get here with the non-max vision beam of the Guardian, or even the max vision beam, still a little bit brighter there out of the Guardian than it is with the stiletto. Now that we've seen the beam comparisons, let's get into the details of each light, sort of operation, how they work, those sorts of things. Uh, the stiletto here has two different activation sources. It's the big button right here, which will turn it on and go through the modes like you guys saw out there. And then this one here on the rear, which I really like, um, it's kind of what makes me prefer this light over a lot of other competitive options. You get that nice grip, and if you're doing like a neck index or something like that, which I tend to do if I'm shooting a pistol with a handheld light, uh, it's very ergonomic in that respect, rather, and uh, easy to activate. It always comes on high with that rear button. Now, this button here, again, we'll go through the modes. Now, there are several different modes that the uh, light can be programmed for, and to program it, you're going to use this light here. And uh, I'm just going to roll in the instructions on the stiletto here on the screen so you guys can see how to program it. It's fairly simple. This one, not so much. We'll get into that here in just a second. Our clip here, this is a nitrided or melanited clip, and it's very durable, it's very strong. I haven't seen any issues with it. Uh, that's been a uh, criticism of a couple different Surefire lights out there that I've reviewed, uh, particularly the Tactician. I was not a fan of the clip. This one, I love the clip. Um, when you have it in your pocket, it sits super deep, and uh, when you draw it out, you come out, and this is your natural grip as you draw it from your pocket um, with the clip, of course, oriented down just like that. I mean, it's super, super ergonomic and uh, gets a win there for sure in that regard. And then, of course, you see there we have the Max Vision reflector out front. And uh, here is our USB rechargeable port. So that's the standard uh, micro USB. Of course, it comes with one as well. And uh, that's the basic overview of the stiletto. Getting into the Guardian here, uh, it's a little bit different. So first off, no button on the rear. Uh, we do have our USB charging port there, and this one's a USB-C. Uh, the actual lanyard loop does come with it. And then just kind of looking at it from the outside, this is uh, the part that looks like a battery pack to me. We have these screws here, four of them all the way around. I'm guessing that is part of the battery pack. I don't know that, that's just me taking a, a wag, a wild ass guess. So uh, this is how most people would probably want to hold it. However, it's not super ergonomic that way. You can activate it. Uh, through those modes should you choose to do so. Um, on the left here, we have the activation for the max vision light. And then over here on the right, we have the one that's gonna give you a little bit more throw that you guys saw outside. As I hinted at earlier, the programming here on the Guardian is a little bit weird. Um, so we'll walk you through it. Basically what you wanna do to program it is you're going to press and hold both buttons at the same time and it will turn a blinking color here, or green rather, and then blink. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the button that you want to program it. So if you wanted to program the non-max vision, you'd hit this one. If you wanna program the max vision, you hit this one. So we're gonna hit that. At this point, you guys can see a profile chart here. These are the different modes that you can program it to. So whatever mode you wanna program it to, that's what we're gonna do. So um, you can hit one, two, three, four, five, etc. cetera. Uh, we'll hit one, two, three, and then press and hold the opposite side, and that will set it. So right now, it's in that mode. Uh, so it's in profile three. So Intel beam only, and it's only gonna come on in that mode. You can't step down, it's just that. So that's how it works. In terms of raw numbers and battery life, the Guardian's generally gonna give you more impressive numbers. We're gonna roll the numbers in here for all the different modes. And of course, that's on a full charge. And then here on the stiletto, 
it's going to be a little bit less impressive, if you will. So we're going to have a max output of 1,000 lumens here. And, uh, of course, with this one, we have 650 lumens. Um, but you guys saw the way the throw changes depending on the different type of output that you have here. Again, the, the max vision is going to give you that quote-unquote wall of light. And uh, this one gives you the option for the wall of light or, of course, a longer throw. Um, however, size-wise, they're pretty different. So take a look here. If you're going to, say, carry these in your pocket, um, you're going to see that this one, the stiletto here is going to carry much better um, for most folks anyway. I, I do know they make some uh, holsters for the Guardian. I'm sure they do for the stiletto as well. Uh, but there are companies that make holsters for these if you guys want to carry it on your belt. I certainly can do so. Of course, weight is going to be another issue here. We'll throw it on the scales real quick so you guys can see I'm not making anything up. There you go, the stiletto. That's pretty darn light. Um, and then with the Guardian here, we'll get the lanyard on there as well. You can see it's almost double the weight. Um, so it's not a huge deal because it's still very lightweight. Both of them are very lightweight with those uh, internal batteries. And uh, that's one of the advantages of both of them. I'm definitely going to give them both a go for that. Um, one thing in terms of cons that I would give them is the surface here of the, the polymer that we have on the body. So here we have some type of gripping texture on the stiletto. We have the same here on the Guardian. The Guardian actually gives you a better grip, in my opinion, if you want to just hold on to it and activate it like so. Of course, I think a lot of people are going to run the Guardian like this, sort of like a remote. That seems to be the ergonomic way to do it if you're not considered, or rather considering a quote-unquote tactical application. Whereas the Stiletto, of course, you could still do that as well. But back here, I think that's really where it's going to shine and how most folks who are going to use it for a uh, tactical or EDC type of use uh, are going to want to train to employ it anyway. Um, I do wish that this, the stiletto here had more aggressive serrations here on the side. That would that would make me happy. But as is, it's still pretty good um, simply because of the angle of it. It kind of sticks in your hand just because of the slight taper, but I would rather have it have a little bit more traction on there, just me personally. Hopefully we covered most of the important details on these lights that you guys were looking for. I know one that's going to be important for everybody is going to be price point. So right now the stiletto is coming in around $100, $109, depending on where you look. There will, of course, be links down below in the video description for those of you guys looking to pick them up. And then the Guardian here is a little bit more expensive. I think the MSRP on this is like $170, $180. On the street, you'll find it for $150, $160. Uh, so this guy here, of course, is going to be a little bit more, does give you better options or more options rather I should say for use and how to use it. So uh, what do I think of the lights overall? Number one, I really love the stiletto. For me personally, I've been carrying this thing pretty much since I got it uh, all the time. I really like the slim profile of it in terms of just from the side. Um, there's not a lot of lights that are going to give you the kind of output that this light has, um, especially not that are rechargeable out there on the market that are this slim and this easy to carry. Um, really, it's become probably my number one carry light since I've had it in and I've been very happy with it. Like I said, as soon as you deploy it out of your pocket, you have it ready to hit with your thumb. Activation is very quick and uh, very user friendly in that regard. Uh, the Guardian here, I haven't carried that much personally, uh, just saying because it doesn't kind of fit what I do. However, um, it definitely is going to fit what a lot of other people do. So for instance, um, my wife and I, we have a friend who does uh, how to explain it, traveling to remote areas of the jungle to do research. Um, and she um, oftentimes is without power and uh, is primarily relying on solar powered things and rechargeable things uh, to get through her day-to-day -day activities while she's between areas where she has power, right? Obviously she's doing research in the jungle. It's kind of what it is. For that type of thing, I think this one here, the Guardian would be exceptional. Obviously, if she needs the throw to see something far out there in the dark of the jungle, you have that capability. You also have the capability to get a real quick situational awareness of what's going on around you with that max vision beam. You don't need a tactical type of application because nine times out of ten, that's not what she's doing, right? So, and this one, of course, is going to give you a little bit better battery life, and you can also really extend it with the low settings uh, that this one has. Um, it's very, like I said, you carry it in a holster. It's convenient in that regard. I know there's a lot of guys that do, uh, like, for instance, HVAC guys. This would be a great option for uh, people who do plumbing and are in small dark areas and want to be able to control the amount of light they need and don't want to have to worry about buying batteries all the time. Uh, great option here. You can recharge both of these in your car. That's something I think both of these 
would excel at is like a car flashlight. Um, this one, I'm probably gonna keep carrying. This one is gonna go on my car for sure. Um, and that's exactly what I'm gonna use it for because I do have the USB-C recharger in my car already for a audio player. And uh, it's gonna go in there for that use. I really like it uh, in that regard. So it sort of just depends what you want the light for, how you plan to employ it. But uh, very durable lights for sure. The both of these have gone through drop testing here. We've had no issues at all with them failing. I believe they're both IPX7 rated as well. And that of course is because they're rechargeable. You can't really get any more uh, higher IPX rating um, with rechargeable lights. It's just sort of the nature of the beast. But interesting offerings here from Surefire. I honestly did not think I was gonna like this one as much as I did. It has won me over though, for sure. Um, and again, I'm sure there's a lot of people that would prefer this one. Me personally, I prefer the stiletto, but that doesn't make it better per se. Uh, if you guys have any questions about these lights by all means post down below in the comments section i would love to hear them um, if you guys need an answer though uh, for that question the best place to get me is over at my facebook page i actually see the messages and comments there most of the time um, and i do reply to all of them if you guys send me a message on facebook and it gets through to me i.e it doesn't have a bunch of curse words that get filtered out automatically um, i will respond to you 99.9% .9 of the time within the week usually within two days um, so that's the best place to reach me over there um, and you guys can also follow me over there and get good deals, things like that. Like I talked about the prices on these earlier. A lot of times stuff goes on sale. That's where I post it up. It's the easiest to get it out to the masses and you guys can take advantage of it, which is also cool. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see all of you in the next video.